taking place in Dallas, Texas, the city known as the Texas Star. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll work the left side. Gets to around the 42. You're always looking for ways to get your playmakers involved, whether it's handing it off or just throwing it to them. Positive yardage. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they'll get him in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Once it all, going deep. And down he goes, the seven-yard line. Nice play. Good job here by the quarterback is staying with his receiver. And the receiver stays with the route because he knows his quarterback has the arm strength to get it there. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He gets out to about the six-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down right around the two-yard line. Smith picks up about four yards with a catch. SMU is looking to go up by three. It's up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all this one great kick he's to the 20 he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line the yellow jackets been talking with them this week kirk it's just interesting their perspective on this kid how good he is and how much they can lean on him yeah you and i had a chance to visit with not only the coaches but the player himself and i got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game the coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Haynes gets six yards on the carry. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Right 
And he just gets rid of it. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Rogers is the set ball at the 47 yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 47. And they got him for a loss. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Slings it. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. made at the 30. Wilson on the tackle at the 30-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 20-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the seven. That's a game of 13 on the play. This is the 11th play of this drive. Tackle at the four. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Just inside the five. Second down. He's scrambling. Slides down. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. That makes it 30 Play 13 of the current drive. A short yardage defense here. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown, Tech! And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. It's never easy running on fourth down, and that was a mighty big effort. And he converts the extra point. A 14-play, 77-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He fires. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Gets it. He's in space. 
Out of bounds. At about the 41. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Catches it, and that's all. Brinson gains four yards on that reception. That makes it second and six. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. And they push him out around the 46-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That'll make it 35. Five wide. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's taken down at the 13-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. from their own 37-yard line. It's first down. Georgia Tech holds a four-point lead. He fights forward to about the 39. Fires it out. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Third down. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. play action now he's on the move he's wrapped up for the sack he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open second down and 10 to go ball on the 41 yard line they come out in a five wide set He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line, first down. Georgia Tech is up by four. Makes it to the eight. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. From the eight yard line, second down. Can't bring him down, and he's in. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Yellow Jackets are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24. Quick strike, and he drops it. He delivers. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. And that'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. Georgia Tech's in front by 11. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Shelley, back to return it. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 38 yard line. That's good for a gain of 18 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. He's immediately tackled. Gaining eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, it second and two. two. He throws it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From the 35 yard line. First down. Nice run there. The misdirection play gets him four yards. That makes it seven and six. Nice 
nice run, and he's brought down. King gains about five yards on the option play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. And here's another third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it fourth and inches. Now he's got room to run. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. And he hits the PAT. Georgia Tech, to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And now he pitches it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 27. Second and eight. Ball on their own 27. Throws incomplete. the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 45. down around the 44-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Hand off, and he won't make it. Pearson to punt. Heading for the corner. Shelley takes it at the 20. 
He's knocked out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Haynes is right now just having his way with this defense. And through two quarters, or most of two quarters, he's controlled the football game. And some adjustments are going to have to be made at halftime on the defensive side. Kirk. Well, the defense is going to have to do something. Because if this trend continues, there's no way that this football team can come back and win the game. I look for this defense to load the line of scrimmage, just get really aggressive, take some chances. What the heck? At this point, anything's going to help their cause. So get more aggressive in the second half and see what they can do. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. He's to the 40. Dives forward. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Red two. Blue four. <laughs> two yard gain on the quarterback keeper. On the give. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle around the 43 yard line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 17. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives, and he's down. Stone gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Has some daylight. And they finally tackle him at the 49-yard line. the 40. Makes it out to about the 33. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. Gets out to around the 25. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two.
Makes it to the 22 yard line. From the 22 yard line, it's first down. Catches it and he's looking for more. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and I'm first down, no less. And two, Touchdown, SMU! It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he adds the extra point. Rodgers looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. Georgia Tech put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 35. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, look, we're gonna go Mike Ducci, guys. Mike Ducci, all right? Here we go, here we go. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at around the 48-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 48. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. And that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Swings it out left to the halfback. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Goes out of bounds right around the 18 yard line. Call the loss of four yards on the play. That brings us third and 12. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 18. Thank you. 
And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. The Yellow Jackets call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Pearson is waiting for the snap. He's taken down at the 48. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. Georgia Tech's in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brandon Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Good open field tackle. First and ten. Ball on the 36. And he tackles him hard at the 43. Walker on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. There's a fumble. They fall on it. And there's the lucky break that this team has been looking for. They need to get the momentum on their side and really take advantage of this mistake. Now let's see if they capitalize. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Number 12 makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here's a counter, losing yards.
And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. He steps up. And he's tackled right away. From the 20 yard line, first down. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Passes into tight coverage, and it's going the other way. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. That makes it second it's second two. down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 11. First down. At the three yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's tackled around the two yard line. Throws it out right to the running back. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. The halfback showed his hands and gets him the score. All they needed was a few yards here, and that pass got him into the end zone. Good call by the offensive coordinator. And he converts the extra point. Georgia Tech lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24. The Mustangs have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock. Just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. 
Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Decides to slide. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Rodgers is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. The Yellow Jackets had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Catches it, and that's all. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Tackle at about the 49. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Scrambling around. They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Third down and they need to get it down to the 39. Tackle could have saved a very big play. <laughs> A 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Number five makes the interception. He has to make better decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. Second down and 11. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 40. Wilson makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. in the open. He's out of bounds at the 42. The pass is complete for four yards, and that'll be a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 43. Makes it out to about the 49. Taken down at the 48. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Falling back complete. And he's hit immediately. That's three down and one to go. The Yellow Jackets with an 18-point cushion. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They come out in an empty backfield.
The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the ninth play of this drive. He's looking for his man. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Strike to his receiver, no good. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to around the 48. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. They'll knock him down for a loss. I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 40-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and long now after the sack. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's got his man across the middle. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Hey. 
Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Makes the grab past the marker. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Fires out to his wideout. And he's immediately tackled. From the 28-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 18-yard line. Call the game of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Right, right, right. Go out Gets to about the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 13. Throws in the middle. And he's tackled right around the eight yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Fires quickly. Touchdown! He has three scoring tosses in the game now. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Brought down at the 22. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. at the 49-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 49. made around the 40-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 36. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Slings it, and they make the stop around the 29-yard line. They'll 
They'll give it off here. He's at the 20, inside the 10, and he's tackled at the four-yard line. First down, first and goal. You're gonna go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Just under three to go in regulation. Yeah. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. He makes the PAT. tackle at the 40. That'll be enough to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Makes it to the 27. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. He makes it to the 25-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Makes it out to about the 16. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Under a minute left. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green, 15. And he hits him hard at the 15. It's going to be first and goal. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Georgia Tech 42, SMU 24. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.